Directed by Peter Alexander and produced by Patricia Greenway, The Prophet was the first film to take on the church of Scientology. This thinly veiled look at the rise of L. Ron Hubbard and his Scientology organization was filmed with a high level of secrecy. Attacks from Scientology were inevitable, but at least the first few weeks of production came off without harassment. But that would change once filming had to move outdoors. Okay, everybody, lots of energy, lots of excitement. This is the big event. And action! L. Ron Hubbard became Leland Conrad Powers, and Scientology was renamed the SciMind Institute. Scientology knew something was afoot, but this was the night when everything became clear. Will they get a load of this? <laughs> After this night, cast and crew were followed home and intimidated by Scientologists. And from then on, Scientologists would turn up at the set. Learn anything about knowledge reports lately? To monitor activities. Do you want facts on the gentleman you work for? And to hand out what they would call DA packs. They just want to interrupt people from working. That's all they're doing. Look. Look all right, buddy. Handing out to people. What we would call smears. What is this? That's your criminal trespass. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Scientologists wouldn't appear on camera, but they don't deny they've protested the movie. They've handed out literature and contacted crew members. Now, Alexander says when he was making the film, seven private investigators followed him around. But the biggest setback came right toward the end of production. As soon as the Scientologists stop harassing us, these guys from the IATSE union show up. These union guys showed up just as soon as the Scientologists left. Oh, I was in the church for 30 years. This is exactly what they do. If you're thinking it's your company, and they're in there getting you guys going, I guarantee it. And look who's watching from across the street. The strike caused them to lose 20 members of the crew and shut down production for three days. Ultimately, the film was finished, and it premiered at a small theater in Scientology's mecca of Clearwater, Florida. Scientific spiritualism runs to immortality! But the church suggests a few name changes for the movie. No hope for profit, a lack of profit, or the non-profit. You will go forth and spread the word about Psy Spirit. We lecture tonight on scientific spiritualism. Get lost. Scientologists say they have absolutely no interest in the film at all and will ignore it. 